Yo, what's up, YouTube? This is your boy, Junior, a.k.a. Smoking Guns out here in Tucson, Arizona, representing the Ultimate Fight Club, giving you the latest content in boxing and MMA news that is out. So, tonight's video got another one coming out for you, and this is on Teofimo Lopez, and it looks like he is making a quick turnaround from that Terrence Crawford Amir Khan fight card, man, and it looks like he is going to be fighting July 19th against Masayoshi Nakatani. And this is going to be for the IBF title eliminator. So that's some really good news for a dude like Teofimo Lopez. And this is coming out in BoxingNews24.com where it states Teofimo Lopez Jr. versus Masayoshi Nakatani on July 19th on ESPN+. And it goes on to state in this article. Undefeated number four IBF Teofimo Lopez will be taking on unbeaten number three IBF Masayoshi Nakatani in an IBF lightweight title eliminator on July 19th on top ranked boxing on ESPN plus card at the MGM National Harbor in Oxon Hill, Maryland. Unlike Lopez's recent fights, his match against the 29 year old Nakatani will be the main event on the card. Quote, now, with this news coming out that Teofimo Lopez, dude, he's doing a quick little turnaround from that damn Terrence Crawford card, especially with the way that he was able to demolish that dude friggin' Atlas tightly. It's actually really good that he is able to get such a quick turnaround fight, especially in a fight of this magnitude where it will be for the title eliminator. So if he is to beat this dude, Masayoshi Nakatani, he is definitely going to be in line to fight Richard Comey next for that damn IBF lightweight weight title. The only thing going into this fight is this dude Masayoshi Nakatani. He is the number three dude that is in that damn division. Only thing is don't nobody know who the hell this damn dude is, man. I ain't never heard of this damn dude. I don't know Anybody that's ever heard of this damn dude, man, I looked the homie up. The only thing that I can say with him being undefeated, 18 and 0, 12 knockouts, homie looks big as hell, man. The homie is like friggin' 5'11 and a half, almost damn six feet. Got a friggin' big ass reach advantage. I think he's got like a 74 inch reach or something like that. So going up against a dude like Teofimo Lopez, who is 5'8 with a 68 inch reach, this homie Nakatani is definitely going to be the bigger dude going into a fight like this. And I checked a couple of his fights out on YouTube, and it definitely seems like this dude is a tough ass fool. It always seems like them Japanese dudes be friggin' tough as hell, man. They be having some bricks in their friggin' skulls, man. And it looks like they be trying to get your ass up out of there for real, for real. They will take whatever you got to give them and they will friggin' try to get your ass up out of there almost like to the friggin' death like them damn samurais up in that damn thing, man. Them fools will friggin' kill themselves before they friggin' let your ass take their ass up out of that damn ring. But, like I said, I have seen a couple of his fights the dude definitely does not seem crazy polished in the ring, but at the same time, you can tell that the dude definitely has some fundamental skills in that damn ring. The dude definitely knows how to use the jab. He definitely knows how to work his combinations behind the jab. He does have some decent movement, and the dude just seems friggin' hella tough up in that damn ring. So, going up against a fight with a dude like Teofimo Lopez, a dude who is a hard-ass hitter, and a dude that will be the shorter man and having the disadvantage and the reach going into this fight this could actually play out to be a freaking pretty interesting fight man even though don't nobody know who this dude Masayoshi Nakatani is from what I've seen from him if he uses his height advantage and his reach advantage to his ability and especially with the way that I've seen him work behind his jab and with as tough as his freaking dome is dude this actually could make for a pretty entertaining fight the only sucky thing is don't nobody know who the hell this dude is the dude doesn't have any kind of name so with this being a main event on the freaking ESPN plus app the only thing that they're going to be trying to bank on is the name of Teofimo Lopez especially with the way that he's been freaking knocking out all of these damn dudes he's literally been running through the competition that he's been facing so he definitely needs to step up in competition and with him fighting this number three dude that is in that IBF division it is cool that he can at least get a fight like this 
to be a damn title eliminator so he is able to face a dude like Richard Comey for that IBF strap. And I know a dude like Lomachenko wanted to fight Richard Comey for that damn IBF strap, but the only thing with that is it sounded like Lomachenko had hurt his hand in that last fight that he had with Anthony Croyer. So if his ass is going to be out of the ring for a while, then it'd definitely be cool to see that top rank sets up a dude like Teofimo Lopez with Richard Comey if Teofimo Lopez is able to get past this damn test for this damn title eliminator. And then you got a dude like Devin Haney who is going to be fighting Luke Campbell for that WBC strap. So it's actually pretty cool that you got all these young killers getting in line to be able to fight for these straps in that damn 135 pound division. And I'm really hoping that Teofimo Lopez does get that chance to fight Richard Comey if he is able to get past this dude Masayoshi Nakatani. And like I said, don't nobody know who this dude is, but from what I've seen from him, with him being such a tough bastard and being able to work behind the jab with this combination nation like he does and he does have decent movement so it definitely could make for also very entertaining fight depending on how he's able to take the power of a dude like Teofimo Lopez going into this damn fight all right you guys so I hope you guys like the video if you guys like the video make sure to hit the like button if you're not subscribed make sure to subscribe to the channel and if you guys have any kind of questions any kind of comments hit me up in the comment section and I'll be sure to hit you guys up all right so I hope you like the video Holla at your boy.